Uh, hi, guys. Uh, at the last uh, uh, set of estimates, I put a question on notice that asked for evidence and results of safety testing in regards to commercially produced batches. Uh, and uh, I note recently uh, there was a release, FOI, Freedom of Information 44558, that also asked for the um, data of the batches. And in, my, in your answer to my response was a link that had no actual data in it. And I note that the FOI for 4558 was 70 pages of, of blanked out data. Can we get the batch information that was asked in this FOI that shows what was in the batches and the batch testing, please? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Senator, can I just clarify which um, question on notice you, you're yeah, talking sure, to? Just I can so I can clarify sure. that. So it was SQ22-00539. Uh, question on notice 170, question 56. It's quite a mouthful okay. there. It, it is. And, and um, Senator, I, I appreciate the irony, but I might have to take that on notice. Uh, that does predate my arrival. That, that's uh, fine. But what yeah. I want is a commitment from you to be completely transparent about what was in those batches. Uh, I will give you a commitment to be as transparent as I can within the constraints of our freedom of information requirements. OK. So, yet again, this shouldn't be commercial in confidence, because I know that's what it's going to come back as, because this is what's in those batches. OK? People were forced to take this vaccine, and we need to know, and they've got a right to know, that the TGA has evidence of doing the safety testing, which I'm sure you did to the best of your ability, uh, and then what that... Uh, testing did. So I'll leave that as that. Uh, no, I appreciate we'll that. See what we get. I appreciate okay. that, Senator. I mean, we, we did uh, have a conversation, a previous inquiry about whether people were or were not forced to take vaccination, but I understand the importance of the question, and I, I hope you'd understand that I, that I can only comply with the freedom of information requirements, but I'll, okay. I will give well, that to production of documents. We don't, can't get it that way. But um, <coughs> So then, with the safety testing of DNA in the vaccine, because obviously with the trials they use one process, uh, and then, obviously, the commercially produced data used another process, which involved DNA plasmids. Is the safety testing, is the safety levels the same amount for naked DNA that's not encapsulated inside lipids as it is for DNA encapsulated inside of a lipid that obviously then transfects the cell? So, so uh, thank you very much for the question, Senator. I'll, I'll ask uh, Dr Scott Craig, who is our Acting Assistant Secretary with our Medical Devices and Product Quality Division, to provide um, some information. Thanks for the question, Senator. Um, as I understand it, sorry, I missed part of the question as I was coming up, but uh, the DNA impurity test measures total RNA, measures both the RNA package within lipids, but also free RNA, uh, DNA, sorry. So are there different levels, specifications for um, encapsulated DNA versus... Uh, what they call naked DNA? No, so the international recognised uh, safety limit is built around total DNA. Total DNA, regardless of whether or not it's encapsulated inside. That's correct. A lipid. Okay, thank you. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.